I'd like to do something on gratitude. What are you grateful for? And so we'll bring to mind um, three things that you're most grateful for. So as always, just coming to sit. Closing the eyes if you wish. And just relaxing into the posture that you're in as best as you can, just sitting upright. With a firm back, soft body. Just checking into the posture. So sitting upright with a sense of uh, dignity allows you to stay mindful, attentive. Checking into the body. How is it feeling right now? Scanning the body very quickly, any strong sensations? Is the body feeling warm, cool, relaxed? Or maybe you're noticing some tension. So just checking in where that tension is. And as best as you can, not needing to judge. And even if some judgmental thoughts crop up, and just noticing, ah, that's a judgmental thought. And as best as you can, just, just feeling and just uh, embracing whatever that's here for you right now. Whether it's tension or feeling relaxed in the body. Maybe noticing the face, the facial features. Perhaps smiling, you need to soften the facial muscle. Feeling the chest area. Oftentimes there may be tension that's trapped in that chest area. Just taking an in-breath and an out-breath, releasing and sense of tension, if you wish. Just breathing in gratitude. Breathing out. I'm here right now. Grateful for this moment. Grateful to be just... Be able to sit here. Checking in the body as you sit on the chair, mat, or, or if you're lying down. Feeling the support. Feeling the arms, the legs. Now, you may be noticing the mind is going to a certain direction, maybe thinking, analyzing, judging, and then just noticing, ah, oh, the mind, where is it going? How interesting. And just bringing the mind back to the body. feeling the body and if there's any discomfort so just noticing that it's like ah oh, discomfort 
Let me just be with it, not judging, not pushing it away, but just, well, just letting it be there. Even if you don't like it, if it feels really uncomfortable, as best as you can, just be with it. You know, this is what happens when you stop resisting. Choose to just accept it for what it is. Noticing what it feels like in the body. The moment you decide, I'm just going to let whatever is here be here, whether it's sleepiness, anxiety or sadness or happiness. I don't cling on or I don't push away. Just letting it be whatever it is. Now, today's session is about gratitude. What am I grateful for? So allowing this question to just drop in. Who am I? Who am I most grateful for? Perhaps a sibling, a friend, a colleague, or a parent, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. Who am I most grateful for in my life right now? And just bringing to mind that person, the person's name, the person's face, in your thoughts. And then checking into the body, feeling and noticing what emotions arise when you bring to mind this person that you are most grateful for in your life right now. Now, you don't have to think very hard. You don't have to analyze like why you choose this person, but just whoever that comes to mind immediately. And just noticing what emotions arise when you think of this person. Now, it may be mixed feelings and that's fine. Just noticing there's that happiness there or that warm. And then maybe that sadness. Now, just allowing... Whatever that's here for you right now, just letting it be. We are entitled to feel whatever we feel. Maybe it's a sense of joy, a feeling of peace, a feeling of security, a feeling of comfort. And just dropping into that feeling, embracing that feeling, holding it with kindness and full awareness. Using that as your anchor to anchor your attention. Perhaps feeling the emotion in the heart. As you bring to mind this person whom you are grateful for in your life.
Okay, maybe there are other layers of emotions that you may be experiencing. Maybe sadness or feeling upset. And just allowing those emotions to be here as they are. Accepting that it's okay, that we don't always have to feel 100% joy about someone. Visualizing that that person is near you right now. What emotions does the person spark in you? And just feeling those emotions. And now letting go of that person and bringing to mind or allowing this question to drop in. What am I most grateful for this year in 2021? What is that one thing that I'm so grateful for this year? Maybe something that you accomplished, something you received, something you were acknowledged for, or new friends new work opportunity. Or maybe there were some moments that were quite memorable, even if it's quite a simple moment, being able to enjoy nature. And just allowing the mind to travel back. What am I most grateful for this year? And then, Noticing the emotions that, that arise, what feelings do you notice in the body? And if there are no particular feelings, it's also okay. It's acknowledging, not feeling really anything, but still grateful for this, this thing that happened to me this year. What am I most grateful for this year? And how does that feel like when I bring to mind this thing of gratitude? Reliving the moment. What feelings arise? Relief. Happiness, peace, love. Where is it felt in the body? Maybe in the heart, the stomach, or a sense of warmth throughout the body. So just allowing yourself to just embrace whatever emotions that arise when you bring to mind this thing that you're most you're most grateful for this year. And just holding that feeling in the heart or in the body with kindness. With care. What are you most grateful for this year?
And now letting that go. And just bringing to mind, what are you most grateful right now in this moment? Right this second, right this minute. What are you most grateful for? Just whatever that comes to mind immediately. And just feel it in your heart or in your body. Maybe it's the sense that just being able to sit here tonight as you wind down towards the end of the year. Or just being grateful to be surrounded by family members. Or to be grateful for feeling okay, having good health. Feeling accomplished. It's a difficult year, but you know, still there were some good times. So, what are you most grateful for right now? As you just notice what feelings arise, I'll read you this poem, Crossing, by Jericho Brown. Jericho Brown. We work, starts on one side of the day, like a planet's only sun, our eyes straight, until the flame sings. The flame sings. Thank God I'm different. I figured and counted. I'm not crossing to cross back. I'm set on something vast. It reaches long as the sea. I'm more than a conqueror, bigger than bravery. I don't march. I'm the one who leaps. So just cherishing this moment, be able to just sit here or to lie down in this meditation. Just feeling the moments with care and attention. Just sending out a sense of gratitude for yourself and for the people in this space with you. To the people you love or care for. And may 2022 be a good year for me. And may I go kindly with compassion. And when you're ready, opening the eyes and taking in this space again. Really wish you all the best for next year. And may I see you again 